Hello everybody, what I have in front of me is a Nintendo DS Lite in polar white and while the condition of it is used, the functioning electric wise including the LCDs, motherboard, headphone jack and volume slider work all fine. So the DS Lite is a handheld console in which you can play your DS games on there and while the DS games are right here slot one on the top there's also slot two in which you can use slot two to play game boy advance games so when you're playing game boy advance games on the ds Lite, the screen looks very similar to playing game boy advance games on an ags 101 console and this kind of screen the ds Lite screen which is a backlight and it looks very similar to an ags 101 looks very nice to me and it is way better quality than the original DS quality screens and as you can see here I have Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis running on the Nintendo DS Lite and the Game Boy Advance games on the Nintendo DS Lite are great to play on however if you have a Nintendo DS original or DS Lite console that is broken, in which you have either a cracked top screen or the hinge is broken or both, despite the bottom still being fine, you can actually use this just as a Game Boy Advance console with some modifications to it. So, I have a modded Nintendo DS Lite that... I have converted it into a Game Boy Macro, as you can see here. And before I converted this Nintendo DS Lite into a Game Boy Macro, it consisted of a top screen that wasn't functioning properly. And, yeah. As you can see, the Game Boy Macro is a modified DS Original or DS Lite in which you can use it just as playing Game Boy Advance games on there. However, for this DS Lite, I added something to it, and that is the screen switching mod. So, these three buttons right here are used for the screen switching mod, and allow me to go over the features through that. So, there are three buttons in the top middle of the front shell. The first button is changing the screen's appearance between touch screen and top screen. Bottom, top. Bottom, oh shoot. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top. The second button is to enable the picture in picture mode. If I can get it to work, which sometimes I can't really get. Oh, there we go. Here's picture in picture mode, as you can see. There's the bottom and top screen mixed together. I don't know if you can see the bottom screen well, but anyways, um, yeah. Another version for picture in picture mode is bottom screen on the top left corner and the bottom right corner. Now off. The third button is to change the opacity of this bottom or top screen. As you can see here, I'm changing the screen from transparent to more opaque. And because I changed the screen's appearance opacity to more opaque, the bottom screen is on the top left corner and we can't see the top screen in there so let me press the button the first button bottom and top are now swapped as you can see here what makes this mod cool is that when you install the screen switching mod on a nintendo ds Lite, you can either set the screen to top or bottom in a single lcd or enable picture in picture mode or the opacity of the second screen in picture in picture mode allow me to go over the features for the appearance of this console so i applied bondo on the top of the shell as you can see here i drilled out a hole to show the lead colors the battery indicator and for the top middle i inserted the three buttons and used super glue and bondo to stick it in place here's the d-pad touch screen which is the only screen for this ds light now a b x and y buttons Start, select, L and R buttons, charge port, DS card slot, wrist strap holder, Game Boy Advance slot, volume wheel, headphone jack, and the speaker. 
this new speaker location is where the stylus used to be and now there is not a stylus holder on this DS anymore anyways. Final thing is the power slider. So due to the fact that there is not a stylus holder on this DS anymore, I have to use the stylus not in the holder and, and it's out of the holder. So as you can see here, the touch screen function really does work fine on this DS screen switching mod. And as you can see here, I loaded up an R4 flash cartridge and the ROM I'm going to load up is New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. A ROM hack of New Super Mario Bros. for the DS made by Grid Attack. And as you can see here, this DS is set to the bottom screen, but when I press this first button right there, I switched it to the top screen. How cool is that? As you can see, this is the new Super Mario Brothers Deluxe title screen, and it says 2012 Grid Attack. 2012 was the year Grid Attack made this ROM hack. And as you can see here, here's the intro in which I switched the screen setting to the top here. Now I am able to picture in picture mode. So while the bottom screen is just black, the top screen is the intro sequence. Anyways, regarding the sound, uh, the sound is kind of quiet because of the fact that I placed it in the back right here. I don't know if you can hear the sound like this because of the fact that it seems rather quiet, but when you turn it over, the speaker, you can hear it a little better than on the back than what it is on the front. I have a Game Boy Advance game pack running on this DS Lite screen switching mod, and that is Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis. And while I set the Game Boy Advance game screen to the touch screen, when I press this button right here, the top screen just shows white and there's not anything on there. So Game Boy Advance games run with only a single screen. But again, I find this screen switching mod to be very cool to me because of the fact that you can switch screens between top and bottom with just one LCD. Even though I have completed this screen switching mod for the Nintendo DS Lite, the body work doesn't look the best because of the fact that I have this lump right here where I placed these three buttons on there. And the sound doesn't sound that great because I placed a speaker in the back and there's not one in the front. And when I turn it up at max volume, it seems rather quiet. So when I update this look of the Game Boy Macro Nintendo DS screen switching mod, I will replace the shell with a 3D printed faceplate one for the front in which there is a speaker right there. And to make the sound louder, I would use Helder Game Tech's Game Boy Macro PCB conversion thing. I have this Game Boy Macro or Nintendo DS Lite screen switching mod charging up with a normal DS Lite wall charger cable. And while I'm letting that charge, I want to talk about how I did this mod. So to make the mod work, I used a 330 ohms resistor to run the DS with only the bottom screen and to enable the TV out function I used three tactile buttons and I also replaced the old Wi-Fi chip with the new one that the Wi-Fi chip which refers to a new one is already flashed for me for the TV out function or screen switching mod. So yeah that's how I got this mod to work. A 330 ohms resistor, tactile buttons for the screen switching mod, three of them, and a pre-flashed Wi-Fi chip to save some time into preparing the software for the Nintendo DS screen switching or TV out mod. Okay, so I have four DS consoles, including the original Titanium Silver, the Pure White original DS, DS Lite Polar White, as well as the Midnight Blue DSi XL. So... Why I have these here is that I'm going to be testing PictoChat on this DS Lite screen switching mod. So what I am going to do is test it out to make sure PictoChat works between this and all of these DSs with PictoChat. And I'm going to write down, hello. 
send, and <sighs> wait a minute. Ta da! The, the screen that I wrote down hello from this DS Lite screen switching mod is now shown on all of these DSs. So, anyways, um. Let me show you the screen switching mod with the PictoChat area. I have it set to the bottom screen, and I have it set to the top screen. And as you can see, I wrote down hello in there. How I made this DS Lite screen switching mod is that I found a written guide on the internet made by Faceless Tech regarding the DS Lite screen switching mod. And I also found a video about doing this mod despite the fact that the guy in that video doing this mod, making the wires for these three wires, speaks Spanish. So I have the references linked in the description. And also, if you want to see me do a video on how I made this thing, there's also a video about the making of this thing in the description too. So yeah, if you would like this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for future content. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye.